Hello everyone, this is Mendix Basics 5. We are continuing our education list. In this chapter, we mainly focused on the security. When we say security on Mendix, it contains two elements, module security and application security. App security means there is three type of app security uh, with the default of selection, there is no security, and demo and the production selections we will uh, deep dive in the details okay and the module security means when you open the security and there will be also the modules on your application and you need to uh, open your security and in these modules in the module security you will define your entities uh, you will define your security for your entities your pages and your microflows and after all of this set, there will be user roles like admin, like standard user or whatever your uh, application is related to. We will define also user roles for our application. Okay, let's start. This is the application that we created earlier. Um, yes, I can click this delete this one and rerun to see what's happening yes there is a page persons clubs level up in the last chapter we mainly focused on microflows you can see uh, it's in the previous chapters okay okay let's start with this security when we say security there will be app security and there will be module security our module name is how to but uh, you you cannot see the security top in here because the app security is now off off means no security applied as you can uh, read from here but when you put prototype and demo it contains uh, pages and microflows and there is also one type of the security which I said earlier the entities entity access but in the prototype demo there will be no entity access rights okay when you say prototype you will only find the microflow and pages in the production microflows pages and the entity access uh, elements contains for the production okay Let's put as a demo and to see the security part is coming to the module. Okay, this called is a module security. As you see, there is tabs, module rows, and the other tabs page access, microflow access, and nano flow access. Then I say to the production, also the R security module security will change with the addition entity access. Okay. Let's put it like this. I assume that we have just uh, three roles going to the user role, like the standards admin and user. Okay. Double click on admin. You will see the module roles. Click edit. You can open like this all of them, or you can. Uh, gather all of them together yes the admin is kind of the uh, matrix uh, authorization matrix for the uh, authorization matrix for the administrator role okay administrator role has uh, administrator of the administration module and uh, administrator of the system module and user for the how to module uh, but we will change this let's look at the user again without clicking you can see from here system user module user and the administrator user so we need to change by the way if we uh, apply to the production you will see there is all of the errors happening for the security issues okay going to the uh, Mod, uh, module security create a new security role 
with the admin. Then go to the security. I will adjust these admin roles to the my modules admin. Okay. Now the application security is uh, set. We can say, of course, there is some uh, other tabs uh, in the, about the application security. Let us uh, talk in a little bit. User roles, as we uh, said in earlier, for the application user types, it will be uh, it will be go here. These are the roles for the our application, general application, and these will be the metrics for the uh, modules, authorization metrics. This is called for the administration panel. You can directly, uh, after security, you can directly log in with these credentials. I copy it, and this will be demo users for our testing purposes and uh, we enable demo users we did not enable the anonymous users for more and anonymous users and the login pages you can uh, go my first video I will also put a card on it and this is the password policy I will change it also one this is the minimum length I did not uh, Require a digit, no require a mixed case, no require symbol, just one minimum length is okay. Click OK. With, with error, I cannot rerun application, of course. There will be some errors you need to fix. Please solve errors, then you can start application is written. Okay, now our application security is done. Let's talk about the uh, module security. There will be two roles. I'm going to the page access. I assume that admin has a super role with the access of everything. So I put all pages for admin, click all of them. And user can see uh, home page, yes. User can see overview pages, yes. User can see, for example, the persons and the clubs. Yes, profile image, yes, I put also. The page access is now done. Let's click. You will see the errors, some of the errors are gone. For the microflow access, I put these uh, access for the admin user uh, cannot have access this type of uh, these microflows there is no nano flow our application yet for the entity roles okay I go to the entity access there is uh, when you define entity access there will be two way one is from here to security to go to entity access and click new or you can directly go to the domain model and put individual security individual entities go to the access rules and then click new okay by the way you will see there is hundreds of errors with uh, uh, entity access by the entity access because you you just defined the page access and microflow access to these elements but these pages has entities which you, which you did not give the access for the users so Mendix uh, recognize this and gives you errors okay let's put entity access from here for the admin role for example I will choose all of them I will allow creating new objects of all of objects and uh, admin can delete the objects and I put all of them uh, read and write it means admin can also uh, read all attributes of this entity and also write all attributes of this entity you see there is four entities 
we because we choose as a multiple all of them is done uh, with the individual let's click one of them you see admin has creating new objects hello and the deleting new objects uh, deleting the existing objects hello and with the read only of the attributes okay for the user role i will go with the domain model for example the person go to the access uh, new for example the person for the person entity user cannot delete or uh, create but can see can read all of the um, informations here but for example without the gender okay let's to see what's happening here okay for the profile image i will put the user to all read for the club also i will put the user to all read without creating and deleting yes this will be also non-usable okay because i did uh, in the purpose with the purpose the gender uh, no access rights you will see there is some um, errors because the overview page that the user access has some attributes that uh, user cannot see these attributes for example the gender because it's giving an error okay to fix this you can also give the attribute uh, value for this user you can for example directly put the read here but if you want to actually um, the user cannot see the gender you can make some conditional visibilities on these pages okay now let's continue with the giving read access to see what's happening okay now it's security set and we will see what's happening in our project until now there will be no login page but when you open the security there is the login page to get the credentials yes this is the uh, standard login page as you remember from the settings from the security sorry there is the administrator there is the administrator role with the passport one we can use uh, these credentials to enter the system okay one yes when you enter the system it's almost the same uh, because uh, our admin role has a super authentic super authorized so he can do whatever he, he wants he can add persons he can see persons he can see all pages he can use all microflows blah blah and there will there is also a, a user icon at the right side which you can switch the user roles these are the demo users that we put in earlier from the here okay if we have another user role we can define the demo roles by uh, using this okay i'm switching to the demo user demo user can see home page and also he can see persons and clubs but what's happening here there is no new edit or delete buttons because user cannot have the uh, add or delete uh, to the entity access okay also for the person overview page user cannot see the edit pages because we did not uh, set them for the user let's check this you see there is no new edit pages and for the uh, entities there is no creating objects or deleting objects okay
You can switch the users, as I said. Before we finish, we can put some logout to the navigation. I'm going to the navigation to new item. Sign out. And put icon as a out. Yes. Also, without demo user, um, we can define user roles. Let us check this. Yes. You see the logout is uh, opening also. It's session out and the login page appears. Okay, for example, without without the demo users, how can we add uh, the users to our system? Under the marketplace module, under the administrator, yes, user management part has account overview page, okay? We can copy or we can directly call from the home page. Yes, I'm going to the home web and putting this account overview and dragging drop to the uh, my actually my home page. Insert row below three 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 yes four four four. Yes. Get the... Now it's unaccessible for the admin. How it's possible? Because we put the security of the uh, admin role for the uh, admin uh, user role. What about the user? You see, it's user. So this page also uh, will open the administrator role at the ad admin module. So let us look. Yes, account overview pages. You will see the demo users. But if I want to add some more, user one, user one. I'm searching for the user role, the application roles. It's happening here. These are the roles, application roles. Okay, I'm selecting user. Active, blocked, language, yes. With the new password, one, one, and save. Because of, uh, we, because we changed the password policy, he, you can define one as a password, okay? Then log out, then log in with a new user. That's all. User uh, one has the user role, so he cannot add persons. He just see the pages, but not edit anyone. Okay, that's all for now. If you have a question, please comment it down. I hope you enjoy. Thank you, and see you.